you said some jokers days Yeah, I'm chillin' figure out five ways to get paid hey, Actin' like a menace, boy, you know you ass trade Me and Mo, co-MVPs, yeah, we sit in there Fentanyl, commit robberies, and poop in public all in broad daylight. It is home to an open air drug market and it's one of America's hot spots for fentanyl and homelessness. Shootings, murders, robberies, and assaults are the words you frequently find in headlines about this area. It's sort of a wild west place where criminals run the streets and it's gotten so bad that on March 14th. Sorry, Reese, after, 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 I got you. 2024, citizens and business owners banded together to sue the city of San Francisco because, and I quote, residents are terrified to leave their homes and businesses Sorry, are unable brother. to recruit staff. This is because if you walk yourself to work in the tenderloin it's almost certain that you will encounter people smoking fentanyl and injecting heroin it's not uncommon to see naked homeless guys pooping and masturbating Nigga. in front of you while you were nah, at your this is crazy you gotta take people to jail once they pooping and masturbating in front of the in front of the, like the population bro you will need to be alert on whether the person entering your store will be stealing from you or trying to use the company bathroom to do drugs it's a scary and filthy place and it's also a very sad place because you have thousands of people living in absolute misery and turmoil Oil. People yeah, that could be living up, up to the potential, it's but for some up, reason are. It's a huge problem with no end in sight. So the question is, what? It's because they legalize, pretty much legalize drugs out there, man. Right and um, people, drugs, squatting, um, what else? Fucking theft. You feel me? Everything's pretty much legal in San Francisco on right now. On the right now. side of the political spectrum, believe the solution involves more police, being tougher on crime, and moving the homeless people out of the area. But where do these people go? People on the left take what they view as more of a humanitarian approach. They look at drug addiction as an illness, and they believe the best way to help the problem is to invest in the things like clean needles and pipes in an effort to prevent disease spreading, and also to provide housing and I don't other know, resources. man. I, um, I think... I think people gonna do drugs anyway, so I think providing them with clean ways to do it is like a good way, but man, I just think like, I don't know, man. Is there a better way? For the people struggling. Today, we show you one of America's worst neighborhoods. We examine how the this definitely is not working, point. bro. We show you what happens here on a daily basis, and we talk about what could be done to improve this area. Let's hit the streets. Quick announcement, we've restocked the hoodies. Big dogs gotta eat. We got them in the black, we got them in the blue. They're jumping off the shelves. Get yours while supply lasts, TommyJimmyGee.com. Thank you. Y'all go get that, man. Support Tommy G, man. It is November 15th. 2023 as of filming this video and we are in san francisco to explore the man, tenderloin is a, which is, is the uh, open air filmed a while ago man air drug market let's give you a little background on the history of the tenderloin this section of the city earned its name after the higher quality cut of meat beef tenderloins and this was because police officers in the early 1900s would be able to afford beef tenderloins because of all the bribes they accepted due to ignoring illicit activity in the area the bribes really kicked in when california Damn. passed the red light abatement Act. that's crazy the whole town is 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 named or the fucking neighborhood is named after corruption. Crazy. Act in 1914. This meant that other areas got more heavily policed and that due to the Tenderloin's reputation for lax policing, many of those criminals came to the Tenderloin to set up shop in the area. So law enforcement looking the other way has long been for part real. of this neighborhood's history. This area is particularly diverse and some of this is due to the migration that followed after the Vietnam War. A significant number of people came from Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia and moved to the area due to its affordability. Now as far as housing goes in the Tenderloin, something notable is 25% of the housing stock is owned by non profits. This means a lot of the housing is halfway houses, homeless shelters, and recovery centers. And nonprofits do this in order to help the homeless community. A 2022 report estimated that 3,800 homeless people call this place home on any given night. And part of the reason homeless people love places like San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Phoenix is simply because of the nice weather that allows them to be outside year round. Facts, so to summarize, man. the Tenderloin's troublesome predicament is nothing new. When you're new. homeless, this... you want somewhere that's fucking, that has pretty good weather, you feel me? And like, you're pretty close to the water, you can shower in a fucking ocean you can fucking the weather's pretty much yeah it's the same thing in hawaii i've noticed a lot of homeless people because it's so fucking it's just so nice place has been plagued by drugs weather so for nice over man years arguably the human poo capital of america they even apparently people have a lot less you feel me like uh i guess in hawaii it's easier to go be homeless because like shit like at least i'm in hawaii app here in san francisco that tracks yeah. where human poo is so you don't step in it on the yeah, street 14,597 calls about piles of poop down oh. on the civic center it's, it, it's pretty grim the poop patrol will have a staff of six and two trucks the poop patrol they got a whole like fucking 
police force for the poop. Man. For a cost of about seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. It's gonna be an interesting week to film man, because Chinese leader Xi Jinping, man. among other Asian leaders, are in town meeting with Biden, Kamala Harris. We filmed this episode in November of 2023. During this time, San Francisco was hosting the annual meeting for APEC, or the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation. APEC promotes free trade and economic development among the nations that are members. And I can understand why the United States would want to clean up the streets to welcome our foreign guests to town. But here are two questions that come to mind. One, as it is largely Chinese fentanyl flooding the San Francisco streets, should not Chinese leader Xi Jinping see the effects of his country's export? And two, man. why is it that we can clean yeah, the streets? Yeah, let him fucking see what he created, man. Foreign leaders, but we Leave can't clean all up. the fucking junkies in the street because this nigga is the one that's that's fucking fueling it. Yeah, let them see it. Like, bro, I wouldn't have cleaned up shit, the man. The streets for the American taxpayer that lives there and funds the cleanup in the first place. It appears that the tenderloin has been altered a little bit. It's got hey a little guys, bit of a clean image. Is that yeah, dear man. leader, G. Appreciate you, Cole. Every, man, I hope everybody's having a good day, too. I hope, um, I don't know if I even got this chance to say that, man, because we got straight into the video. Hope everybody's day is going well, man. Hope everybody's having a blessed day, bro. Appreciate Pain you, Cole. doesn't see how crazy Hope it really your old day is going well, man. But we're going to give you a picture of what it's like in San Francisco's open-air drug market, the Tenderloin. Let's begin. Right now, what you're seeing is a lot of handsome Asian gentlemen walking around San Francisco. And um, <laughs> from what I'm gathering from locals, San Francisco did not look like this only a week ago. They kind of cleaned a lot up. Trash are what some oh, people that shit in look the like Japan right the now. Tenderloin have learned to live with day in and day out. Over the week of September 22nd, city crews collected more than 36,000 pounds of it in the Tenderloin. That's more than 18 tons. I wonder and how much of that was just straight shit. You feel me? Like straight poop. I wonder how many of them pounds was just straight fecal matter. You Only feel me? what public works crews hauled away. It doesn't even include what was picked up by the CBD or urban alchemy. And it's just one average week. The trash never stops. Yeah, this guy looks like Secret Service. Or... It's 35 minutes, Reese. I'm sorry, man. Holy shit. Look right, please. What is cooking up today, huh? I thought there was going to be a video about fentanyl and homelessness and drug addiction, but it looks like it might be interspersed with a little bit more. I got need this. From I, need this. Um, I need to post this on YouTube. I sure. need, uh, Don't leave your valuables with you. It's been a week since I posted on YouTube. I need to be more consistent, so I have to watch this, Rishi. I'm sorry. Okay. Because, like, they wouldn't touch them to break it. But then I'm here until 5.30. Okay, and if you need help fighting them off, call us too, okay? Uh, okay. San Francisco is famous for being one of the more lawless places in America, but because all the foreign leaders are in town, we're putting up a pretty strong show of force. I don't know if it's going to be an entirely accurate <laughs> picture of what. <laughs> he said, Rishi, just sit back and relax. <laughs> Low for real, stay consistent. Man, I'm trying, bro. My last video is doing really well, bro, so I really need to stay consistent. It's like the day, but look, really good, bro. I'm almost at a thousand views. Please. I'm almost at a thousand views for my last video and like at 23 likes, bro. Shit is pretty good, man. It's looking pretty good. Oh, what not. These guys are zooted and booted and ready to rumble. So I'm <laughs> guessing there's going to be some clashes today. We're going to go this meet. The Lord, I think it's the meat and fat of the trash in the country. My take. Facts, though. Facts. You feel me? They just explained that they like they got it from like corruption or some shit because only the police can afford the tenderloins at the time. But yeah, it is. San Francisco is like the armpit of, of America right now, which is crazy. Because it used to be with Jersey. some of our contacts. Guys that can really show us what this thing's about. That's, That's a what fact, this though. channel is about. Getting inside that access is to play. Fact, bro. San Francisco is horrible. It's dirty. It's nasty. It was never like that. Ten years ago, it was not this like this. Bro. Most people don't, so we can bring you the real, honest, raw truth. I have a feeling it's going to be no, a little harder today worse and for worse people every to see. year, though, you feel me? San Francisco always had like bad pl parts, but. Now that shit is everywhere. Now, Pat, now, Whole all town. Law enforcement that town. shit look like Kensington, man. Can we go through this way, go around? Yeah, that's what we always... just talking about, nigga. That's crazy. Motherfucker, homeless people shitting in the streets. Interesting about shit when you crazy. find like, I live homeless... in Vegas, man. There's homeless people everywhere, but you don't see it like this bad, bro. Like homeless people shitting in the streets. Like I don't walk out of my house and see people. Shit. Camps and really bad drug issues. That it's very close to high wealth. Yeah, that's why you really gotta pay attention, man. Everybody like on the outside looking in, you think San Francisco is still like the place where like you feel me? The place it used to be, fucking tourist fucking oh, city. Right. We got our whole ray band. We got oh, that's designer. What people think, and a lot of people come to San Francisco thinking that it's still like that, and you get your ass bipped. 
fashion in the midst of this. Can't leave your car nowhere, property. nigga. We're meeting Same our contact friend, at this train. You will get bit, nigga, for sure. I don't give a damn where you park. Station. We'll see you guys it doesn't down. matter where you go. You gonna get bit for sure. Got you tabbed up. Thank you, brother. Is this where it normally goes down? In certain areas, but one street can kill your entire city. It's up for them to change that. Yeah, exactly. It's the laws that's making people, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't get charged if you're still under $1,000. You can literally take over somebody's crib and, and just live in that motherfucker if they don't be there. You feel me? Like, the laws in San Francisco right here, is crazy. This is like the nice Sanctuary part of the city, man, Once real. you go in there, that's where it, it's really at. I mean, you walk down here right now, there's so many police and federal shit is low-key like some lawless shit, bro. It remind me of, like, this shit look like fallout or something. It's not only that, this is not, normally this is not like that. Fallout San Fran, bro. Like this. It's really, really dirty. <laughs> so where I'm from is about 10. Nah, no, for real. Curry didn't deserve to live in this garden. Six minutes south. But yes, I've been here, you know, Bay Area, Stockton all my life. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Please, How you doing? This my brother. How you doing, brother? Right. We waiting on my cousin right now. All this Apex shit got it real crowded. He's he said he like five blocks away, but he driving. So is it not normally like this? I know there's a, like a million fags, a million police. Yeah, it's uh, never like yeah. this. You pick like the exact week where it's gonna this be a little shit funky is, in the tender line. Yeah, 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 for sure. I said we used to be out here doing our thing probably about 12, 15 years ago. Right? Okay. But right. we was outside, but my cousin, he never left. So that's why yeah. when I see your shit, I'm like, <laughs> like I said, my cousin never left. Perfect. I know who to put Tommy in, in contact with. One thing I think that's a little funny is like when the Chinese leaders come to town, it's their fentanyl that's tearing up the town. Right. But when they come, they gotta clean. I think they should see some of the fentanyl. Right. They right. should. We should show Gigi playing a bag of fentanyl and be like, excuse me, sir, do you know where this came from? For real. Uh, this is f***ing up our nation right now, man. Are and we officially in the Tenderloin right now? Just like, right across the street. street. Even street. right here, usually, oh, you, you're going to see because it's not in lean in, everything. Right. They got the Secret Service. Have you guys heard of ISO? It's ISO. It's like stronger than fentanyl. You got some new shit now? They got some new <laughs> shit. <laughs> Bro, this is what how I felt when I heard about the new shit that's stronger than fentanyl, bro. Like, I'm scared, bro. I'm literally scared, bro. If you could speak directly to... They got some shit Jesus stronger King, than fentanyl. Right right they whole culture <laughs> is crazy. From what I heard, at least. Ain't it a communism? Yeah. yeah. What so, do you think about communism? Just being from America, I don't think it's right. I don't think one person should have that much yeah. power. So we are in the bar, which is the what, Bay subway Bay or train transportation, system? Bay Area Rapid Transportation. What do you notice that's different about today compared to the We are literally at one of the <laughs> grossest, <laughs> nastiest <laughs> bar stations <laughs> that I ever know. In San Francisco. Yeah. And it's clean today. It's clean today. So what do you think yeah, it is man, that when it's gonna be new shit? It's not right. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> I feel like, man. Communism and um, capitalism is pretty much the same thing. Only thing is, like, one capitalism, they got like the niggas. Foreigners coming to Somebody, there's, there's somebody with that much power. Right we just don't know who he is, but in China, they know who he is, so they got the. Everybody knows who to point the finger. We can clean right? it up. Right? Right? Regular we don't really know because niggas is like, oh, it's the president's fault, but the president, he's the, he's in the pocket of whoop, whoop de whoop. Like. Americans are here. Hey, we're just going to make it a shit hole. What do you think about that? I think it's backwards. We Good need way. to run. Oh, oh, oh. This might be a bad take, but I think there's always going to be lawless places like this where just the people are fucked. And I, I think that what's fucked up is that the only thing that's going to um, stop this shit is if the community itself was to leave. You feel me? And take everything, the stores, the people, everything, the drugs, all that shit it was crazy. Like... There's no fix to this shit, bro. There will always be like lawless niggas. We're not looking at always be niggas trying to capitalize off the lawlessness and make a buck off it. The fentanyl, the trank, and all the drugs that are hitting the city right now and give you an inside look. Let's go boot like, around. My, my my take is like all the people that do shit that just like it gotta be, a, be a, a place for them, man. It gotta be a place for them and like like you gotta just like Take them, put them in a place where they can't interact with the rest of the world and just let them do it. Niggas want to destroy themselves, destroy it. Like, but these people can't be. So, is it a rich the area? Yes, 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 it is. Yes. That's the cold part so about it. These high rises, high rises, one thing I know about homeless shit, people, a lot of them don't want to be. The of that is they they want to be homeless. A lot of them want to be there. Like, like, um, they're just like people that don't want to be bothered. You feel me? 
like pooping shit out. Ask people in Vegas, like, do they want a home? They be like, nah, bro, I'm good in the tunnels, man. I'm kicking it, bro. Like, leave me the fuck alone. Brush this, so what is it like running a shop, people stealing shit all the time? There's homeless guys pooping in front of your store. I mean, we've been here for some, some years. Don't want to be to like, some people don't want to live in a crib, don't want to work a job, don't want to be, like, the they homeless pooping, that's shit. like inevitable down here. You're going to see that every five feet type shit, you know what I mean? So what struggle did you face as a business owner in San Francisco? Over here, be booming, bro. You yeah. Yeah. Are you guys seeing the impact of fentanyl hit the streets? The Hell people? yeah, it's the worst shit ever. Yeah. yeah. That shit worse than heroin, all that shit, yeah. man. That shit turned everything into zombies out here. Yeah. Maybe trying to trade shit like 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 it. Smaller ice cream from the Trade the oh. ice cream. It was still frozen, too. Do you think she it boosted that ice cream? I don't know. Where is she? She the Olympics. The connection with like fiends, like and ice cream, bro. Come to town when leaders come to town. More homeless already this year in Green Bay. Worse I've seen it in 29 years, and it's only been warm for like two weeks. Exactly. Try and give us. That's what's crazy. Y'all live in a place where it's not really like it gets warm for a little bit, but it get cold as fuck up there. You feel me? So you would think that it would be less. Be clean image. I just show you this. Just more and more people are just like fuck it, my nigga. Economy is so fucked up. Niggas is like niggas ready to go be homeless in Green Bay. You well, everything's okay here when really it's crazy. It's Very rare footage. I ain't never seen this shit before. Tell us about the area that we're in right now. This is the Took Street. What's it like here? It's like a lot of drugs, a lot of homeless people live down there. A lot of mental that shit Ill. looks here, crazy, like, bro. This is how downtown Vegas looks, but not so bad. This shit look like uh, for real uh, fallout, bro. Like. A fucking ghoul is gonna come around the 13 corner. years. Does it normally look like this? No. Nighttime back. Okay, you got boss. The president is here today. That's why they Yeah, man. It. That's what's crazy, too. Like, um, I'm always big on that shit. Like, giving to the homeless, but it's to the point where, like, you don't even know who's homeless and who's just, like, like, it'd be, it be regular people like myself, you feel me, just out at the store selling chocolate. And they'd be like, man, uh, niggas be, like, 23 years old, like, with a Louis Vuitton belt on, you feel me? Like dress fly, standing outside of a, the like uh, a grocery store with a fucking box of candy. You know they just stole it. You know they stole it. This nigga grown. This nigga got a mustache, beard. Like man, help me go to football practice, like, nigga. Anything. Yeah, wrong. High crime area. yeah. Two people got like, killed. That's why I was like, ago. bro, I hate even going to the grocery store anymore because these niggas be like right in front of the entrance with that shit, bro. What happened? It's drugs. Each corner, they sell like fentanyl. Like, if we wanted to buy so fentanyl, how easy would it be to find around here? Yeah, like a lot of people are like, I, I, like for like the homeless, I, I get it. You feel me, like. Like the older people sitting outside is hot, like you feel me? I'm giving my bread, but like these niggas, like bro, you, there's nothing wrong with you. You can work just like I can. Work. Every day, like, dress like I dressed up like a female you know, like, guy with red. You something. see half people be all naked. You see naked people around yeah. here? Yeah. Out here fucking selling chocolate. You're grown, nigga. That shit be like, bro. That shit. Like me, bro. What kind of an adventure is taking us on? And real, what like, are we gonna man, see? I'm just basically. Gonna take you on a little quick extravaganza yeah. through the tenderloin. Okay. It's kind of sad, but you feel me? You feel me? Uh, this is his cousin that never left. My sister gave some of her leftover from Pancake Place because she was begging and we saw her when we were driving. She threw that shit in the trash. Yeah, bro, I remember I gave this homeless man a fucking uh, some change, bro, because it was just like what I had just came out of the store with was in my hand. This nigga was mad, bro, and I had to cuss him out. I had to told him, like, nigga, I won't give your bitch ass nothing else, you feel me? A lot of Fetty Wap concerts sold out. I'm going to give you the flip side to both, feel me? Mm -hmm. There's people out here actually working to actually save lives and shit. I mean, I see a lot of people cleaning. I see a lot, of, I know there's a lot of treatment centers here. Yeah, you got to reach. Like, if you don't give them $5 now, bro, motherfucker might attack you, bro. So trying like, to get people jobs. You can't protect you yourself. Narcan. Mm -hmm. Narcan and, uh, and fentanyl testers for the people that like to take pills and smoke weed and shit just, just so we test it. That shit is becoming a big monster. Where a lot of stuff is becoming waste. A lot of stuff is waste. And if Someone's laced with fentanyl. That could be a very deadly mistake, yeah, right? Really, sure. You think you're gonna yeah, take a couple of puffs of weed? It's gonna be a nice day, and all of a sudden, yeah, it's been going like that. They like the past <laughs> year or two after the uh, pandemic. So one thing to draw your attention to is the architecture in the What's area. What's fucked up is that like they said that like their cousin ain't left, but like it looks like he, man, I, I'm, I ain't no fool, bro. That nigga look like he's smoking that shit himself. So this is the anti-homeless architecture where they don't let people yeah. sit yeah, or sleep. Yeah. What do you think about that? Like, that ain't. Stuff. Shit, now they just 
putting up tents. Homelessness is something that's much easier to get into Damn. than out of. I had a conversation with a professor from the University of Wisconsin that researched homelessness, and when it comes to breaking down why people become homeless, he said it's easiest to break it down like this. A third of the people are homeless due to drug addiction issues, a third are homeless due to mental illness, and a third are homeless because they were living paycheck to paycheck and one financial setback took them out. And really, there's a lot of overlap between those three categories. Well, but let's what hurts me the most is because like, I, I struggle with mental illness, and I've been like... um put out because of mental illness. So I understand how easily because you have one off day and maybe you like have bipolar disorder and you just have an off day, boom, go off, end up doing something homeless, you feel me? Like, Five more than the that financial shit really fucks with me Only because I struggle with that shit and I've been like, I've been put out because of more. So whether shit. it be a car repair or a hospital bill, that's enough for many people to miss rent and begin the downward spiral to homelessness. What's more is a lot of the people that are homeless were dealt a bad hand from the beginning. One study of women living in temporary shelters found that 78% of them reported being the victim of childhood abuse. That's staggering. When you consider the following variables, a nationwide trend of rent and cost of living going up, inflation lowering purchase power, easy access to highly addictive drugs, in particular the fentanyl that's flooding across our southern border, high rates of mental illness, an all-time high of household debt, and relatively low amounts of savings, these conditions make for the perfect storm of homelessness. It feels messed up though that you even have to design a city like that. Right. Part of me really understands if I was a business owner, I don't want a bunch of homeless people in front of my business. But when you look at just a person that wants a place to sit, right. it's tough. It's a, there's a yin and yang to this problem. If that wasn't right there, that's human shit. Yeah, that's human. That's why that thing just places a fucking famous whole piece of shit, man, laying on the ground, bro. Or Yasmin found the first human shit. Shit finders, I'm from bro. Milwaukee. Yeah, I haven't seen shit it. Shit finders, man. This shit is like Pokemon, bro. What is like the you know, the tenderloin is supposed to. Nigga, that was a whole log of crap, nigga. Be like when you cut, you know, you cut meat. They say the tenderloin is like the most precious part of a meat, right? When you're doing like the little Jewish cut thing or whatever. So this is like really the prime, the prime financial area. You know, we got the financial. Now we got mi millions of people we can't even identify and come in more homeless. Exactly. And that's why I feel like, and I'm from Texas, bro. But I feel like what they doing in Texas right now, bro, should be criminal. You feel me? I feel like the nigga that um the uh, the mayor or the fucking whoever the fuck is doing that shit, bro. That shit is some criminal shit, bro. Especially Down like, the street, there's money out here, really, is what it is. We get this is how some Civil War shit starts, bro. Because I know the niggas in New York are like, bro, like, losing their shit. I like, Deep how many motherfuckers is just coming over, bro? It's like, I'm with all this money right out now, here, bro. it ain't changing the poverty out here. It ain't no in-between, I ain't no middle class. You either living dirt poor, or you living Imagine up, or you like getting, it, you getting it up. fucking <laughs> New York, bro, and just like... Nigga, Texas is just sending motherfuckers up to 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 my shit, nigga. Pimping, hoeing, dope dealing, killing out here. You know what I'm saying? Police don't give a f. You know what I'm saying? I can tell. It seems like things are pretty out in the open. Like you don't have to really worry about. That's how some civil war shit starts, bro. New York versus Texas. Because I people have been complaining that San Francisco is too soft on crime. So let's examine the policies that are in place in the city. Chesa Bodine, who served as DA from 2019 to 20. I feel bad for all them people. You feel me? So don't get it twisted. But it's still like just letting them come here is not fixing our problem. All this is going to make is like. Like, you feel me? We gonna have to fucking flee this motherfucker eventually. 22 ran on a progressive... The governor tried to stop them. Oh, shit. ...for a decarceration and justice reform. One of the first policies he implemented as DA was the elimination of cash bail for certain offenders not... That's why it's like, how do you fucking... How do you stop this shit, man? To be a public like million safety. people just flooding across the border, you feel me? Risk. Progressives argue that cash bail creates a two-tier justice system. If you don't have money for bail, you will be stuck sitting in a cell while a wealthier person is able to walk free. Furthermore, the issue is compounded as impoverished people are forced to work with public defenders who are underpaid and overworked. Conservatives push back against this because they believe this creates a revolving door system that the criminals are aware of. Not only do the criminals have no fear of consequence, but this also results in a My demoralized to that car so easily bro <laughs> he fell into it doesn't want to do their job if they know it won't have an impact let me know in the comments which ideology you'd prefer to have in charge in your city the only thing is um you see kids come and respect kids you see women and older people respect them you, know you gotta saying? be it's tough like, on crime bro. i think being soft on crime is, doesn't help anybody come man. hey put that shit away the chinese leaders in town right now not even the criminal the like i said bro i said this a million times bro a lot of these degenerative behaviors have to be let go like stealing cars or you feel me you do that shit as for when you're young to like <clears throat> to um for excitement but then when you're older you do that shit like come on that's degenerate bro you're being a degenerate go 
do something that that is helping instead of hurting you feel me so nigga just have to stop it comes from China. Hey, so what do you think about that it's all part of the government plan they put coke and coca-cola at one time i mean it's all population control it's all part of the life that want to keep control if they don't keep control gotta be hard on the fucking like even though like and I, like i was a criminal at a point in my life bro and so like i'm i'm saying this shit from looking at both sides of the coin man uh, people i've been to prison bro and then one day they yeah, put that, they'll be fire, overpopulated bro. like China. I, to, I, I gotta react to this because I need to post this on YouTube. Do you think the government is letting it in to try and take people out? I think that the government is having no choice because China has the most power and has the most money when it comes to influencing other countries. I mean, we're America, we're a country that's supposed to be the, the land of the brave, but in reality, I mean, we're the land of the brave or the slaves, so I can't tell you the truth, man. China is a place that they've been dealing with America. They know how to infiltrate and they know how to do things, so I, I think that we just, we, we got an enemy that we just finally got to meet our match, you know so what I'm saying? How much money do I need if I want to buy a hit of Freddy? How much money do I need? Shit, I mean, I can't tell you like all that. Like five dollars, probably. Money, yeah, you look around the ground, you might find a sack, man. All I can say is, uh, if you don't know what it is, you better ask somebody. Man, that's scary, bro. That shit is scary, bro. I said, I got kids, man. Yeah, I know that, huh? You feel What's me? up, TJ? Tell me how you come up down here. How I come up down here from Oakland. I'm out here saving lives on the spitting all shit and shit, too. You feel me? Okay. Yeah. Over, over 620 nah, people that got... A, I think that's one of the biggest issues man i think um the people don't want to fight for the country no more and i think that's one of our biggest issues and i think that's one of would be our, our one of our biggest issues if somebody was to ever fucking invade or something because the record is dying from like, that morale, morale is low nigga about that shit. That's one reason why I think Trump needs to be back in office, man. Cause I think when he's in office he knows how to like bring the morale back. Even though like shit was fucked up like like Trump brought morale back to America, bro. We need that shit, man. Uncle, y'all, he gonna tell y'all. Especially little... with all this China shit going on with TikTok and all this bullshit. You never know when, like, we be in World War Three. you feel me? So. More about yeah. what's going on. What is it like sweeping through the streets right now? Morale it, it's doesn't, good right it, now it shouldn't like be this low, so... man. It shouldn't be this low, what, man. What they got record is over 620 people dying yeah, from bro, fentanyl. Yeah, bro, God, what man. What you have to do? They need to have more education for them. The long term. Oh shit, my boy in a good mood with some high energy today. Yeah. They have programs like Cedar. For real, program. bro. That's fucked up. That nigga, like, yeah, I be going through it, bro. That's why I said, like, uh, my mental health be like going back and forth, man. Fentanyl is the problem. I hope everybody else, is, like, you know what I'm saying, is taking care of their mental and shit, man, because it's shit. Me for homelessness. It's an everyday struggle. Mental health. The homelessness. But you got the people like the man making skating rings. I mean, it's okay for them to skate, have a safe place to go to skate. But you build that thing, cost a couple million dollars, and you ain't got no place for these homeless and see people to go. And this, yeah, this is a lifesaver. But some of them get mad when you finish this, this to them because they get so, they get high and they get away from all their problems, right? And that's another reason they get high and they get away from their problems. Oh, there's more poop right up. here. So that's they, they, poop number two, and that was only a half a block away. Poop number two in 20 minutes, man. Half a block, they didn't walk, bro, in 20 minutes. It's the second human feces. From poop number one. But you gonna see a lot more of that. That's, okay, that can be addressed easily. That's nothing compared to other problems. Nah, that's that not shit, nothing, bro. That's, bro. Don't say that, man. That's the human feces, man. Shit, but if you uh, what I'm saying? In any when other is, city, that's, that would be a dog shit. But nigga, that's human. That that need to be addressed. Don't 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 gloss over that. Fentanyl hit the city during the yeah, pandemic. Yeah, definitely not visiting. What can you tell us about the tenderloin, man? Oh, shit, it is, it is. They man. need to put this shit on the same list as Haiti, man. Haiti and San Francisco need to be on the same don't travel list, man. You ready to get our money? Eat? You feel me? What advice do you have to someone yeah, down with addiction? Yeah. Ear infections ain't no fucking joke, too, man. I hope you uh hope you feel better, man. Just stay strong. Yeah, you never stay grounded. Going there. Yeah. Trust in God. You and me both, man. And like, nigga, San Fran is close as fuck to me, bro. I, I know a bunch of people from San Fran, from the Bay Area in general, but yeah. Are there resources Never for people here that are looking to get house? Yeah, there's resources, you know. You gotta want it, though. You gotta want it. If you, if you don't want it, then, then you ain't gonna get it. Right, well, have a good day, okay? You too. God bless. The people that are leaning over, what is that about? Pretty much people are high or fitting all, all, all day. There's something about it that makes your back. Yeah, I could, like, bro, you gotta be a, um, 
just don't care about life, bro. Like, my anxiety would never let me be able to sleep on a sidewalk while people are walking past me, you feel me? Yeah, that's kind of like what I... Watch your steps and species and shit around. Shit is sad, though. Nah, for real. Yeah, ear infections suck, bro. My girl just got one and had to fly back home. Nah, for real, bro. That shit is, is oh, crazy. You see that man. whole look and everything? Today, we man. pretty much know. Praying for you, Wallahi. I'm praying for you, man. Hope that shit like, goes away fast. So, what's going on, especially when somebody's standing up sleep? Look, we interrupt this broadcast. That just... It's kind of unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Y'all yeah. don't have one of these in Milwaukee? We don't have human shit everywhere. Oh. That's we crazy. <laughs> like, Milwaukee is fucked up, too. So, just to, like, to, to, the, like, bro. <laughs> not human shit. This is the, well, I think it's just two different one. problems, I guess. They got the Kia boys over there, and these niggas just got drugs. Oh, welcome to this. Like they might give Narcan and all of this. Is, this, is some, this is some resource shit that you might want to. You might want to get on there. Bro. Next, we talked to a guy from St. Anthony's. St. Anthony's is a nonprofit that I can understand why Clay went zero and ten in the elimination game. San Fran, what? Yeah, like um, what was that um? There's like, it's a lot of cities like this, bro, for real, where, like, you get drafted to the city, bro, and your game just completely stops because the city is so trash. You literally are living in a fucking wasteland trying to fucking, Time to do like, social work in the area. Keep your and I think this is a water. great idea because if you want someone to navigate... There was another basketball player that said something about that, man. I want to, I want to motherfucking, um... The streets properly. I want to say so it was Cleveland. Guys that know the streets and have been Cleveland. in the streets themselves. One of these cities, man. So tell me like, what man, you do shit, here and where we are. We on Jones and Golden Gate. Yeah, I work right here. My dead body. What's up, I man? I work with the homeless. We give them showers. We wash their clothes. We give them food, and we help them like basically get off the streets. Sounds like you got your work cut out for you. There's a lot of people here that you have. What is it like, and what do you see day to day? Day to day, I see. God bless you, brother. People overdosing. We bringing them back. Just. Crazy. Have you had to use Narcan on someone? No. How do you bring them back if they're overdosing? Put the Narcan up their nose, and then you hit it with the pump two times, and then it brings them back. I, guess I heard that, like, sometimes the niggas will, like, if you hit them with the Narcan, people will be mad because it, like, instantly makes them sober. And then, like, or, like, motherfuckers will just jump up, like... Like going crazy and just like niggas start like run off because they just Where do you see this going? Is it getting better or is it getting worse? Just want to smoke. Out here. Getting a little better. It'd be people that's. We don't shit on the sidewalks in MK. <laughs> is that is that Milwaukee? Yo, what up? Have a good, great stream. I appreciate relatively you. Relatively been in the streets. Relatively may have been in jail. Or relatively used drugs. Hola, que quieres? You feel me? That I get these jobs. I'm having and a, a great a day, model name. Help to our streets. Damn. So maybe they need to keep them friends. In your opinion, what makes or breaks someone's success in becoming sober or getting off the streets? You should put an effort to it and give them help. With a lot of these folks that you're working with, do you think uh, childhood trauma or mental illness is a big part of their yeah. journey? Yeah. What is it that's tearing up the city right now? Is it more than fentanyl or is it primarily on a PS5? Man, I, um, I literally just got one, bro. I'm late. I, I just got one. That's why I'm playing my... Um, my what's it called on? Um, I'm gonna say yeah, man. Man. Uh, killing people. You gotta, uh, my you gotta help my home girl, man. Relatives, they all dying. I'm gonna get a PS5, dying, man. Left to right. So if you had a message, yeah, I love Monster Hunter, bro. Um, Monster Hunter is one of my favorite games, man. To America, okay. about this crisis, what would it be? Leave it alone. <laughs> Leave it alone. Kill walking. <laughs> oh, you got PS5 too, uh, TJ? What's your, uh, what's your PSN? What's your, um... Current day that fentanyl is just huge in the city. When did it start hitting the city and when did you first hear about it? <laughs> Maybe three years ago. Yeah, Milwaukee is crazy, bro. And, uh, I don't use fentanyl anymore. I used it for a short period and, then, uh, no, I, I got it injured. It took me a minute. I was really like, fuck the PS5, but I just got it. That's when I was playing Elden Ring on, man. I had to, um... Restart my game. What's your drug of choice now that you're trying to green escape? Crack. I guess meth. Meth. Okay. And that green. For someone that lives around this area, how niggas smoke that real crack? How easy is that to find them by? It's on every corner. Every corner. Not I would imagine real. in your shoes that makes it very hard. Milwaukee is like the 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 originators of the Kia boys, right? I think that's where shit started. I was just talking about um that dude that went viral in Milwaukee that was just going. The, the nigga was just shooting up random places, killing random people. Like, bro, they had this nigga on the news, like, every week. 
light skin dude with dread. Yeah, I can, yeah. Is there anything the city could be doing? Man, I'm about to add you up right now. Issues. I know that green crack, man. I had green crack um not too long ago. I hate to keep pausing it, but man, that's one of my favorite fucking strains, bro. I swear, bro. Wallahi, man. What's the like the first hit of Mac? Was it love I hate at to first say time? it like that because we, we, we watching a video about real crack, but green crack, man. <laughs> it might have been, yeah, but, but that's because you're, 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 you're trying to fill a hole, you're trying to fill some kind of a, an emptiness. Here. What's your plan forward, or what's your next move? Uh, well, my goal right now is to get out of legal housing. I wish I was with you, bro. I won't hit that motherfucker, man. Um, if there's youth watching this, they are wondering if they should experiment with drugs. The young people, you're not missing anything. You don't need What's to do crazy drugs is, um, like you're gonna for long as I stopped it's fucking with the sativa, but I, I just now really started going back to it because the flavors are different, man. I get I get tired of the same old flavors over and over, but yeah, sativa does fuck with my anxiety a lot, man. And I be I be sweating a lot when I fucking smoke that sativa, bro, for real. Good life, drug free, and stay healthy. What do we got here? Number one team there is Warriors. Uh, <laughs> so, what percentage of people out here use and boost to supplement their Number use? One, so, first and foremost, you have to have mothers from around the world sit down and have a real debate. I fuck with Indica as years, well, man. I fuck with that OG, man. I like OG cushions, man. Human race is gonna be do doing cocaine. Have you ever done cocaine? Not yet. No. Monster Hunter is a good game, man. Uh, anybody that hasn't played it, man, I recommend it, bro. It's one of them games that you could literally play for 12 hours, bro. That's why I stopped playing it, though, because um, Monster Hunter, man, that should literally take over your when life. When you look at your trash cans, and now you see excess of trash. Well, how do you stop inflation like cool when dude, you start bro. talking to your neighbor and realistic that in 100 years, human race will be doing cocaine, will be doing opium, will be doing fentanyl. Then you, that person is going to boost. So the more you boost, the more you hurt your neighbor. So now you don't know your neighbor that well. So now the, there's co conflict because, no, I don't want my niece growing up and using drugs. So we come full circle where if you talk to your neighbor more. Then you zone better. Oh, now, yeah. So now it's not decriminalizing it. It's legalizing it. Why? Because we're letting yeah, the underworld. Um, yeah, bro. Probably stay away from uh, sativas since you had a stroke too. Like, cause it, like, yeah, man. That's why I said like sativa makes my heart race. You feel me? Makes me anxiety. So like, uh, yeah. World. Doctor when was probably time. right. So you probably should stay away. Yourself and say, sativa, you know what? Man. My mother says, you know what? I'm talking to the other mother from another continent. My son does that too. But now when you accept it, and instead of uh, denying that person, now I you zone better, so now at 3 o'clock in the morning... I think this nigga is tweaking. You speak in a smart and poetic way, but we do have an appointment we have to walk to. So I wish oh, you the best, so okay? Yeah, this nigga... <laughs> He ain't saying shit, bro. He, he, that's exactly what it is. He speaks very smart and poetic, but he isn't saying anything. He sounds like he's saying something, but he's not. Right, man, bro. take care. You keep it illegal? I hear you. When you see cities like Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York, with crime and all the bad things that are happening Dip there, it. it's easy to point at them as I a know, punching bag for bad again. progressive you, policies. And while I, I do you, agree man. some of those progressive policies are counterproductive, I do think it's important to highlight that in rural areas across the country, you look at Kentucky, Mississippi, West Virginia, these are Republican-dominated places, and they have a lot of the same problems that the progressive cities do, too, just in rural pockets. High rates of drug man. addiction. Yeah, and that's what's crazy. Those lemon strains are some of my favorites, bro. That's why I could never, like, put the cap on sativa all the way and be like, I don't fuck with sativas because, like, the lemon OGs, the lemon meringues and shit, always gonna have, like, a lemon tree. Always gonna have a spe special place in my heart, man. I rate really, like, candy lemon tasting strains that taste like a lemon candy, bro. I love those strains, bro. Hey, so and that shit's so hard to stay country, away from, man. We need to compare notes and work together as a lemon team diesel, to say what solution are truly going to benefit each area and what can make Fuck, a city a good, safe, and employable something. place to live no matter where it is in the country. That's what I was just saying, though. Like, there's, I think there's always going to be a, a place where, like, people, man, people is like, like, there's always gonna be a right behind us, someone is 
Like, you gotta just have like one lawless ass city. You feel me, like Gotham, where everybody goes to commit crimes and do crazy shit, and then everywhere else just gotta be like hard on crime, man. A pipe or something. <laughs> and it has so to be, open bro. Open and blatant here. I was out here on the streets. If you want to keep here, it away sound... from the population, man, like the population that doesn't want to see it, that's the only way I could see. Say it's a Stockton, and I used to be one of these guys out here I selling didn't. drugs, doing drugs. Yeah. So I was a part of this lifestyle for almost 20 years. I went in and out of prison for five times. I couldn't stay out of the street for more yeah, than yeah, nine years. I would get out of prison within two, three months. Anybody else want to, y'all send me the links and shit. As soon as that, after this is done, we'll do start doing like requests and shit. Right just wanted to get this out of the way. Is there a story from that time period that can give us an insight into what your life was like? I grew up around drugs and gangs all my life. So when I was a little kid, I already knew I was going to end up in prison. For me, I was See, able to get out of it up, through a lot of pain, and I finally made a choice in prison to finally get out of it. Now I'm out almost five years clean. And that's kind of like the same route I went. Like, growing up in the trenches, bro, you kind of know that you go going to, the pr to pr prison, bro. And it's like, you know what? Who cares, bro? As long as I get, like... I don't get football numbers. That's all me and the homies used to talk about. We knew we was going to prison, but we was like, man, I just don't want to get football numbers, bro. And some of us did, some of us didn't, bro. This is fucked up, man. Congratulations, bro. Like, fuck. I'm a Ryan fan, but I'm gonna tell you this. Yeah, that nigga Devin got his ass cooked, nigga. That shit was that shit was fire. Like, How you doing? Welcome to San Francisco, brother. Thank you. Oh, this Our nigga, area right here in hunter. Soma and the Tenderloin really has not changed too I know, much at nigga. all. As you can see, we have niggas hate him, bro. This nigga be talking crazy to the homeless people, though, man. I have a lot of children in this area that gotta walk through this. This area of San Francisco with these buildings and complexes actually have the highest concentration of children in, in all of San Francisco. So it, it, it's just know. really frustrating to see that our area is being affected by the drugs. Yeah, they definitely need a rematch and shit, you feel me? Because I don't know uh, how much the, um, like, trying to make weight affected it, but I think that Devin just couldn't, he couldn't outbox, um, I think he couldn't outbox him, man. In the homelessness, the appreciate most. A lot of the businesses out here have been shut down. Hope you have a good day, man. Everything. If you stream today, I'm definitely going to show up and uh, show you some love. Thing in this radius, appreciate honestly, has been shut down. You see a lot yeah, of... I follow my home girl model on there, too, man. She streams as well, man. These, a lot of these black bags that these individuals are carrying around, those black, undiscreet bags. I see how's home, girl. I appreciate you. Come from this place called the Harm Reduction, the Needle Exchange, down on 6th Street. I'll show you guys. They give out a lot of um, utensils and paraphernalia. I actually had Devin to win but i just um yeah like i said uh he got out boxed and like you feel me i don't think um w um him being um if they wouldn't have i just think he got outclassed you feel me Nelia to drug addicts that outclassed. are struggling it doesn't Appreciate really help Cole. them it's actually enabling them and keeping them in this cycle of using let's talk about the business of harm reduction in 2023 over 800 people died from overdose in san francisco 80 percent of which involved fentanyl one Damn. of the ways that people try and reduce this is harm reduction harm reduction is the providing of paraphernalia such as pipes needles and foil to yeah he can't fight as good as he thinks but he definitely whooped uh devin though i think uh you right about that cuz he he he'll, he'll never be um he'll never be tank but addicts for the safer consumption of the drugs many people think, argue uh, that while you are yeah. working on the larger issue of getting people out, out of addiction handy. you might as well work in the meantime on the task of giving them clean tools to prevent long term negative effects such as hiv hepatitis and other diseases from being spread Millions i guess the only way that, that this would be like the harm reduction side would be right is if less deaths happen so we're going to see if the less deaths happen every year to help towards harm reduction this spending of sorry model nay i already know like the um the english barrier like the language barrier we got to get uh I'm gonna start um, using the um, trans. Allows more. the distribution of over 240,000 needles every month to drug addicts in San Francisco, or about one needle for every three residents in the city. The position of harm reduction is a controversial one. San Francisco Mayor London Breed was a longtime supporter of harm reduction, helping to launch the Safe Injection Task Force program in 2017. However, in February of this year, she reversed her position, saying that harm reduction was not reducing the harm, it was actually just making things far worse. Experts criticized this statement, saying that this was just a political move for the upcoming election, not a statement based in facts. But needless to say, drug addiction and homelessness are at the top of mind for San Francisco people as they head to the polls. Honestly, what I'm seeing is a lot more younger, able-bodied individuals that are down here on the streets. I mean, these individuals could be working, they could be doing something, but they are being uh, pacified by the government with $800 a month from uh, general assistance, the ability to steal anything they want 
from the stores with no repercussions and the open air drug market. Yeah, which I appreciate you for always coming by and showing me love, man. I appreciate you. Makes it ridiculous. Artists. Everybody that's in here. You know, I was a criminal. I sold drugs. I, I, I used drugs. I'm what the, the courts call a career criminal. I've changed my life around, but I, I have been caught several times for selling cocaine and gun possession and different things of that nature. With no consequences, there's no incentive to get right and, and change your life. That's why I understand him. He, he kind of like um, myself, though, but I wouldn't be out here like screaming in the homeless people's faces and shit. Well, thing when you can change your life they around. Just until you really like get laws, so bro. Now, I don't believe, don't get, get me wrong, I don't believe in mass incarceration. I don't think people should have to go to exactly, prison. Exactly, yeah, I don't think niggas should go to prison. I think that there should be a place for all this shit, but not around the kid, not around, like, in a, in a city, bro. There should be, like, a, a shithole city, you feel me, where, like, Gotham, where niggas can do drugs, and you know what I'm saying? Like, the laws are, you feel me? And it, niggas that want to do that move there, you feel me? Like, like they got in Philly, you feel me? Like Kensington, but like. Off drugs. However, a 90-day detox is not too much to ask. If you're trying to get sober yourself, do not come to San Francisco. Listen to me. Do not come to San Francisco if you're trying to get sober. These programs are riddled with too many obstacles for you. Yeah, that's a fact, though. This is this is good advice. It's gonna if you're be trying to get sober. Do not go to don't go to Kensington. Don't go to fucking San Francisco, man. Really, a struggle to stay clean. When the federal judge told me I shouldn't come back to San Francisco, when my my Federal PO told me I shouldn't come back to San Francisco when the drug counselors told me I shouldn't come back to San Francisco. Yeah, but, um, yeah, um, San Francisco, that's a I whole didn't really understand. argument, you feel me, to be had. Like, everything is, like, is going to fucking increase our rent and, and taxes and shit because it's always an extra, like, and why they were saying that, but now we I need do to focus our money on what matters and not be giving this shit to other countries. I think that would be one of our first things that we need to do and, and see um, why you got to have a lot of tenacity to hold on to your sobriety in this area hey, fellas, is there a harm reduction site up here they give the needles and the, the temple right this on shit is just hard bro it's hard to like have a take on whichever side is better you feel me right. especially with like this harm reduction okay where do you go but like, just, but like that tin foil I guess the argument is giving them clean pipes and clean needles reduces the spread of diseases. This comes from the harm reduction. For real, because, like, man, like, you're helping niggas get more high, but in a safer way. But, like, eventually, don't you think that niggas are going to, like... Hey, Senator, this type of stuff is littered all over our city. What is that? Uh, these are in individual cotton balls that they roll up for the addicts so they can draw the drugs up through it and filter it. And the argument that it oh, stops the spread crazy. of disease from dirty needles and all that, that's what their justification is? That is yeah. what they're... Yeah, that's a fact too. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this is mental health, man. And like, um... Justification is the harm reduction center... But got like, what... Like, even with that, well, how, like, when does it become like you're like... Locking niggas up, like, cause like, it's 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 one thing like to lock up all the fucking people. It, that's pretty much what you're doing if you like put them all in like a crazy home. But I think that's what a lot of these people need. A long but time ago, it was called the. It's pretty much it's pretty much like imprisoning them. You needle feel me? exchange. You give one dirty needle and you get one d uh, clean needle in exchange. The only thing logical about it is that they're getting funding so you, some more. So like, even if you do that, like you, you was talking about like taxes and shit if we was to like that would have to be funded for all these people to have like for the re mental health to be re just rethought and re just read like from the ground up redone and then put all these people into mental health that's just gonna cost you feel me stuff that they give away the more they can ask for in their annual budget right now that they're giving away all these materials they can boast fucking, those numbers and inflate it's those just numbers. a really difficult even thing to have a take on i feel like Every take is going to be wrong and something. And say, hey, we capacity. gave away, I don't know, three million clean needles. But really what you did is you just gave a bunch either, of box of needles. Either you give away free needles or you mass incarcerate. I feel like that's the, like, these two, like, polar opposites are, like, the only answers. You feel me? I don't. To individuals, and then they ended up in the dumpster or wherever. When people like Richie hear that their tax money is going towards drug addicts receiving. My aunt was in a mental hospital. That mental hospital in Green Bay is gone, but that is what I put my money to. Facts. Free needles and pipes. It's easy Especially, to. Especially, like, if I know my money is going towards, like, because I know how bad a mental health 
place can be going towards a like like you said rethinking what mental health really is and like see why they're getting mad we're like, living in a time when many americans feel like they are barely able to make ends meet but the really taxes tough, keep man. getting higher and the politicians we have locally and nationally have no accountability with our money Appreciate for example for alert, you know, it appears we don't have money to support our troops at home but we do have money to send overseas to help other countries bomb i was men. just speaking about this you feel me we don't have money for our troops that are here struggling with mental health ptsd and all this crazy shit but we send it to to fucking Israel to help them and Iran and all these places. Women and children to fuel wars we didn't want to be involved in in the first place. And these decisions are being made by representatives that oftentimes have a financial... It's hard to have a take because there's so much other crazy shit happening. ...interest in the war and are vested in stocks like Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. Homelessness, another example. It seems we don't have the money to solve this issue, but we do have the money we to house have illegal it. immigrants, give them hotels. We, we do have the money. See, that's the point. We do have the money. It's just that our money is being like, and this is like, this is where we have to speak because we, the taxpayer, and I, I, I heard someone talking about this. We're the taxpayers, right? 30 to 50 years old, we're the taxpayers. We're the one that's working, but we're not the voters. We have to go vote. 30 to 50, we have to go vote so we can make these because we don't make the laws. It's the 50-year-old and up that make the laws, and they don't even work. These niggas are, are the ones that are retired, that have all their pension, that have all their bread, and that are going to die happy. You feel me? Meanwhile, making the laws that we have to abide by while we work every day and pay bills and pay rent while they don't have rent. They, 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 they houses are paid for. You feel me? It's, it's our problem. Rooms, phones, it's groceries, our and fault. I guess the question that comes to mind 20 is 20 years is old, 30 American years old, 40 years old people. Rent. Not voting is the problem. Just spending American tax dollars. But how do we change this? If we don't pay our taxes, we go to jail. But if our politicians yeah. that are clearly inside the pretend problem. to be public servants, if they can't account for the spending of our money, or if they go massively over budget, that's, it's that, all good. Like, they get to keep their problem, job like, and keep their stock portfolio that is outperforming. Even if you do hedge vote, how so do you know a, the vote is going to be fair? You feel me? a bit of a rant but all this to say even if the nonprofits are having good intentions we are living in a time when people are particularly sensitive to how their tax money is spent Man. Man. right here the harm reduction center see you know it's a sensitive to topic because we over here debating this shit, bro 14th to 17th well you guys just missed it I'm 40 yeah. years old. I'm just a so lot hard. of people that literally just don't want to vote but will literally sit out and protest a lot of the shit. Nigga, bro it, it, it blows my fucking mind how niggas will be like, bro, I'm not voting. Fuck that shit. It doesn't matter. Your vote doesn't matter. And then we'll sit out in the street when some shit happens in Palestine or you feel me? Like these places, you feel me? With a lot of things. I got a lot of shit you on my not place, voting is the you, issue, you know, man. We can all handle this together and shit. So when you go into this harm reduction site, uh, do they give you help or do they just give you needles? Well, they got a lot of shit there. They got needles. Let me see those. What are those? The easy touch ones? They got needles. They got pipes and shit. They easy got, touch you know, needles. And shit. Next, we meet Mr. Gao, a San Francisco restauranteer who is experiencing. I changed my dad's friends. mind though. He was a union bargainer. My grandpa was a teacher, and he changed, and he won't change his mind. Break-ins and frequent like, vandalism to his restaurant. Unfortunately, this is something he's cut. If you if you can't look at the economy right now and see that there's an issue, you you just you don't want to see it. To look at is just a cost of doing business in San Francisco. Your parents came here from Vietnam. That's how it is. It's like I said, though, because your grandpa, he don't have to see it. He's looking at all the 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 like the good times of how Biden, you know what I'm saying? Back in the 70s, this was this way, this one that way. Biden, he was trying to keep people from being like, like keep like black people and white people from like intertwining and shit. So like a lot of people that are older, they looking at him as like, you feel me? Like, man, we got to keep him in the as long as we can just because of the the memento that he like holds for older people which is destroying our economy Underloin spent your first eight years which there fucked up the only way we can you can't convince the older generation because they're gonna be stuck in their ways just like we will be the only thing I mean, we can do is fix 13, it by voting 13 yeah so from 13 if there is a chance nine, that there is gonna be a, a fair vote we all have to vote and make our choice you live in the tender or like? next year and the years to come, we all just gonna be out in the street protesting the the fucking president that none of us voted for or voted against. 
I thought it was just okay because I didn't know anything better, right? You know, so that's all I know. I didn't know anything Shit about the outside, make sense, you know, man. the outside world. I know the Tenaloy. I go after school program up in the Tenaloy at the Clyde Memorial. There's a building on Ellis Street. He told that's me in the 80s the school. Republicans so took you, everything you, for, you have friends in for him. You just I said it's the 2020s. In the and you feel safe. You feel for real. But you go nowhere. People stuck in the past, so man. I to be able to get out, I'm out. How is you as a business owner been affected by the theft, the vandalism, the drugs in San Francisco. We get like graffiti all the time when we're building the place. Uh, and then we get homeless people and then we get people breaking in, right? Someone like, just broke your window the other day. When something happened like this, I have no feeling. Like, I feel like it's just normal to me right now. It's like somebody just break it in and and we learn how to... <laughs> For real, like nigga break it, like up oh, this shit. Like he know, he come, he, he come to work knowing like, man, it's probably gonna be a fat piece of shit in front of my door. Window probably gonna be broken. All the fucking, um, all the fucking, uh, shit gonna be stolen. Type you shit. know, like stuff like that, we just get used to it. Like, I become, uh, such an inconvenient thing for me, but it's, it's happened that you expect it can happen. Are you frustrated with how people are not? We are watching our future, man. Like people can just get away with this and nothing happens to them. That's, what San That's why we gotta be about, more right? present. Public safety, we don't have the public safety right now, right? I mean, you come in. Be Everybody can sit up and be like, oh man, that mistake that niggas made four years ago, that's fucking up our economy right now. But, like, nigga has to be present enough to be like, you know what, I don't want this shit to happen next time. So we gotta step in, bro. They're just hanging out. This right? is graffiti? Uh, yeah, this is so little. I mean, they will do the whole building, right? There's nothing we can do. We have to record them. We record them, break yeah, it that's, in. Um, yeah, the green crack was always one of my favorite. Like, it's more like a piney. Like, that's why I liked it. It was more like a piney flavor. But yeah, it's definitely one of the, the best highs out there, man. But what can I do? You know, there's nothing we can do. Literally, there's nothing we can do. Is that frustrating? Of course it's frustrating, man. Do you expect more out of your city, out of your politicians, out of your law enforcement? Oh, yeah, of course. Be someone that builds something, not destroys it. It's very easy to destroy thing, things. Man. You just kick things, you hit it with a hammer. Anyone Give, can do that. Yeah, man, it's easy to take, bro. Give. A monkey could do that. But not anyone can build something. So be the person okay. that builds See, something. Yeah, that's, that's, I like that then. I definitely... There's a lot going on here. I think we gotta have empathy for what individuals are going through, but also we have to make rules of a society that makes sense. And to me, a lot of what's going on in San Francisco just doesn't make sense. Let's bring back some tough love, man. Some absent of base treatment and get people to uh, be held accountable for their actions. That's that's all we asking. And if everybody got a little compassion, like you said, empathy in their heart, you know I mean, you may ain't got to know somebody. You see them laying on the ground, man, look like they overdose or something. Give them a shake. I don't know. See if they're awake. If not, call for help. It's just little things, man. And Thank bro. God for Narcan. Ah, oh, man, another fucking W video, man. Bro, I'm not sure if it's one of the richest states, but man, it's definitely got to be up there with, with, like, you feel me? Because, like, San Francisco is one of the fucking most expensive places to live, so I couldn't even imagine paying, like, 3000 a month to live in a fucking shithole like that, you feel me? Nah, that's crazy, bro. That is crazy, man. Put my trust in, can't believe I really did that. Hate myself for that shit. Now I'm sitting here trying to figure my shit out.